You meet them at a party. It's your friend's cousin's wife's 30th birthday, and she wanted to do something big. So the theme is early aughts. You go as the Hanging Chad. Not because you are a big Al Gore supporter, but because you've seen How I Met Your Mother three times. You drink two Bud Lights and a green apple seltzer, and spend most of the night introducing yourself to people you never see again. You decide that you've spent the appropriate amount of time to warrant being invited, and start your way towards your friend to tell them you're gonna head out. But when you finally spot them, they're sloppily making out with a 6 foot 2 Britney Spears, and you turn heel to the balcony. You can give them a few minutes. You close the sliding glass door behind you as you take your first deep, clean breath since the sun went down. Yeah, me too. You start. I get claustrophobic pretty easy, a Dick Cheney mask says, slouching in a plastic folding chair behind you. I was gonna leave, but my friend is... preoccupied. You point. The Dick Cheney swivels in their chair. Hmm, that looks like it could take a while. You're telling me. You lean on the balcony and look at the pitch black night. The wood creaks as it strains to support your weight. You feel like you should start a conversation, like you should try to relate to this person you share a rare moment of tranquility with. But you can't be bothered. You keep staring at the sky and its sharp flatness envelops you. Crack! The ledge disintegrates into splinters and you find yourself tumbling down what feels like miles of shrubs and trees and bushes. You black out. You awaken to the sound of sirens. As your vision comes to, you notice your head is in the arms of someone with a plastic mask hanging around their neck. It's three years later. The two of you split a duplex with a very nice polycule. They mostly keep to themselves except on monthly game nights when they bring their church group. Your partner works for a non-profit that focuses on the humane integration of alpacas into the wild. You are on rotation at a temp agency that moves you around every few months to help organize struggling businesses' mismanaged bookkeeping. Neither of you believe that your positions will evolve into careers, but they're comfortable enough to stay for a while. The final episode of some reality competition show fades to black, and the two of you slump into the love seat you share. They pull the blanket up past their shoulders, covering most of your face. Aren't you hot? You ask. I'm always cold. You know that. The credit music winds down, and you both stare at the blank screen. Want to head to bed? They say. In a second, you sit up and face your partner. I don't like that face, they say. Sorry, not trying to freak you out. I've just been thinking. We've never really had... the talk. What talk? Like, the talk. You can't believe their dumbfounded expression. We've been dating for three years and we've never really discussed what comes next. What do you mean next? They say. Okay. You sit up straighter. I love you. You say. I love you too? They respond, giving you the dubious look one might give to an overly emphatic clown. <sighs> Good. Okay. With that out of the way, I'd like to ask you straight up. What do you expect from this relationship? Expect? They say. I don't expect anything. I love you. More importantly, I like you. I guess I just expect the same from you. Okay, but like, what do you see for us in the future? You say. A moment. You continue. Recently, I felt guilty for never having this talk. Moving forward, I'd like us to be able to be on the same page about things, you know, working towards a common goal. Another moment. For me, eventually, not now, I'd like to get married. I'd like to buy a house. I'd like a cat. Well, two, actually. You can't just have one cat. Loner cats are always super weird. And, and I want kids. They look through you. So? I don't know what you want me to say. Well, preferably I'd like you to say you want the same thing. I can't.